So, uh, Laura Ansel is back. I said I wanted to find out all about Urkel furniture today. Uh, and also we have this uh, Thunderbirds conundrum to sort out. But the mm. furniture first. Absolutely, yes. In 1920, the young designer um, Lucian Urkelany started his own business in High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. Because we were talking, where where did um, it all start earlier on? And you you seem to think, was it Sweden? No, well, I, I, yes, I thought there was a Swedish connection, but also that kind of furniture that was very, very in, in the 60s and 70s yeah. had that Danish look about it, Danish furniture, it. And, and, which is still so cool. So, Well, it was High Wycombe, which I read was um, the chair-making capital of England at the time, and this is where he perfected the technique of steam-bending wood in large quantities and basically discovered how to tame, if you like, elm, which was a hardwood that other furniture makers at the time considered impossible to work with. So he was really, you know, um, leading the way in terms of this. And even today, 75% of all Urkel's furniture is made here in Britain. That is fantastic news. Look what we've stumbled across. Yes. All we need now is a local connection and we're uh, home and dry. It's funny you say that because um, Edward Tadros is the chairman of Urkel and he's also the grandson of the founder, um, which was Lucian Urkelany. And Edward, Pad- Edward, Edward Tadros, sorry, was born in Paul. <sighs> Just keeps getting better. I'm pleased with that. <laughs> yeah, all, all we need now is him on the end of the phone. Edward, good morning. <laughs> uh, it's good morning. I'm here on the end of the phone, yeah. <laughs> good morning, Edward. Lovely good to morning. talk to you. Um, right. The, the, the reason you've ended up on this show is when I was a kid, my mum and dad loved Urkel furniture. And yeah. uh, we had that kind of groovy little coffee table you had, the kind of one that was, you know, the very low the one. Long, very low, long one, yes. Yeah, we yeah. had, you know, we had mm. the sideboard and, and all of that. And the, the mm. one thing I remember about Urkel was the great smell. You could open, as a kid, I would just open my head, uh, open the, uh, the door and stick my head in there and just sniff because that's such a great smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the smell of the elm, the smell of the timber. Have you, and yeah, you've still got that smell, have you? That's still yeah, strong. Yeah, the whole factory smells like it. It's extraordinary walk in the factory and there's an amazing smell of, of the timber, the, the elm and the beach and the ash and the oak. Oh, it's absolutely yeah. beautiful. Anyway, look, my mum yeah. and dad had all this furniture. The middle bit of the story you're not going to like, but you're going to love the end, so stick with me. You're off to a good yeah. start here. So we had all this okay. furniture, and then my mum and dad wanted to, I suppose towards the end of the uh, mid-'80s, early-'90s, they wanted to change their furniture. They offered this stuff to me. I didn't want it. They offered it to oh. my sister. Oh. They, they yeah. couldn't give it away. They couldn't give this Urkel stuff away. Yeah. And now, of course, it's super cool. G-Plan and all that is back. I want some. Mm. I was on a website yesterday. Today, some of your second-hand stuff is going for about 500 600 800 pounds yeah yeah we made it too well it lasts a long time you yeah. did didn't you yes so, so this is still i mean exactly the same i had it when i was was young my house was full of it um and our house was again full of it and people people do seem to love it very much but did you have a did, did you have a kind of a cooling off spell in the I don't know late eighties early nineties where people just wanted to change maybe everybody wanted to get into pine uh, and now yeah. it's big and stronger than ever before yeah. or what? Well, well we, we've kept making furniture all the time. We, we made different styles, different woods. Uh, we made some pine furniture. We made uh, more upholstery, um, more more traditional, more 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 contemporary. And uh, as you say, it, it started about 10 years ago. Uh, a designer called Margaret Hull um, did a great fancy to it, and she helped promote it and uh, make it, made it. And she is as cool as can be. And uh, she shares it in her Wigmore Street um, showroom in London. And we sell it in, in Japan and in, in Tokyo. And um, it's become you know, very, very much wanted. And, gonna, and, and you, yeah. I haven't looked through your catalogue, I haven't been on your website, but are you going to go for that kind of G plan look again, or have you done that? Have you gone a bit retro? Uh, some and some, yes. We, we make a big range. We make bedroom furniture, um, upholstered furniture, cabinet furniture. Some is quite content. We just done a range with Terence Conran uh, called the Barton Range, which is uh, we, we make all in solid wood uh, oh, in our own. So it's um, fairly contemporary, that well, range. Well, look, it's good news. I'm going to get rid of you, but only because you're on such a bad phone line. I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah. But um, I think Laura's got one quick question. Quick question, Yeah, just Laura. quickly. Why do you think, then, it was so popular in its heyday? Oh, I thought it's clean, line, simple. It was very functional. It worked easily. It was comfortable to use, easy to use. Mm. Um, nice size. And smells um, terrific. And 
And it's about terrific, yes. Uh, that's <laughs> I Ed- remember that too. Yeah, that's Edward Tardos. So he's chairman of Urkel uh, and is the grandson of the founder, founded in 1920. And, uh, of course, uh, Edward born in Paul. Thank you very, very much for being on the air with us. Good luck to you and all Thank your you. staff. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. There we are. So it's never gone away, but it's back and it's very cool. Absolutely. Even though it's never gone away, now I think that a, a lot of younger people are getting into it. Well, that's something, I think it's the quality of it, isn't it? Where if you buy that kind of furniture, it's made to last. But... See, you knew about it this morning. Alan, oh, yeah. our producer, had never heard of it. My grandma had one. Yeah. I remember that. So, um, yeah. Don't put it on the air, Cole. You'll mark the wood. <laughs> that's what I used to get all the time when I was a kid. All right.